Try and win that record setting Mega Millions jackpot tonight. Some of you may justify spending on such long odds as a way to give to schools in New York State. And that's what the state lottery says. The profits from its operations are for, after all, aid to education. But have you ever wondered just how much actually goes to our schools? Our Dave McKinley has some answers tonight. When it was approved through a constitutional amendment 51 years ago, when Nelson Rockefeller was governor, the lottery was sold to voters as a means to pay for schools. In fact, its original slogan was not a dollar in a dream, but your chance of a lifetime to help education. All these years later, the lottery is still selling us on that, going so far in recent years to produce an ad where happy dancing kids take to the screen while the announcer reminds... Every time you play a New York lottery game, a portion of your sale goes to aid New York State school children. Well, that's true. It does, but perhaps not as much as you might think. And if you think that the lottery could fund a significant portion of the total amount spent on education in this state, well, perhaps a math lesson is in order. According to the New York Lottery, it took in $9.97 billion in the last fiscal year through the sale of tickets and video lottery. But when you take away the amount for prizes paid, the cut to the lottery dealers, and fees and operating expenses, that leaves about a third, or $3.37 billion, for aid to education. Assemblyman David DiPietro claims it's not always used for that, at least not in the traditional sense. People think that the money is going strictly for education, books, schools, salaries. But he claims on occasion it's been used to pay attorney fees for construction projects or to pave roads near schools. And say, well, buses are going to drive on this, so this is education based when it's really not. He proffered a bill prohibiting that practice, but early this year, its enacting clause was stricken. Which means somebody killed the bill. So who killed the bill? I don't know. We're trying to find that out. Meanwhile, State Senator Tim Kennedy put in a bill to decrease the amount for prizes and funnel that extra toward education, which he claims could raise nearly 900 million more for schools across the state, more than 50 million of that in Erie County. But it never made it out of committee. As long as we're talking numbers, lucky or otherwise, here's some more. While the lottery is quick to boast that it has raised $64.7 billion for education in 51 years, that amount is roughly what is spent in just one year for schools in New York State. So that $3.37 billion raised through the lottery in the most recent years represents about 5% of the tab. So when you hear them say... Every time you play a New York lottery game, a portion of your sale goes to aid New York State school children. Know that while that's true, it's not as much as you might have been led to believe. In Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.